Now that we've got the water in, um, we're going to do some interesting things with uh, building footprints that'll kind of give you an indication why I wanted the very detailed uh, DEM model uh, to start with. So let's grab the building footprints. Uh, those are buildings. And again, you get one of those specific uh, editors that allows you to choose things. I'm going to choose the style. Um, I'm not going to use any one specific style, to be honest. Just to make it look more variable, I'm going to choose a facade uh, randomly. And there is always a random uh, generator here. Oops, where is it? If I go to this one, oops, that's the formula, sorry. Here, I can choose a random facade style and do it that way. Uh, I'm going to leave the building heights at 10 meters. Um, that's a good intermediate height, and it'll allow me to drag some uh, and make some adjustments, as you'll see momentarily. And there we go. Now, what I wanted to do with this is to go look at some of these building footprints. And, you know, to be honest, the data is not perfect. Um, as you'll see momentarily, some of it is not quite right. But, you know, what we can do, we can tell where, you know, a lot of these buildings are too high, um, so we can lower them. And you do that just by picking on the building, editing it, and you get a little hat that you can drag to the right elevation. You can see it descend below the roof level right there. So we get the elevation just right. And then uh, we even have the image... Uh, on top of it that way, which is um, quite nice. And we can do that with a number of different buildings. Um, just uh, you go into an edit mode, get the elevations a little bit more accurate, including bringing some up. And yeah, this way we can get a much more accurate uh, look of the buildings in here. Now some seem to be missing for some reason. I'm not sure why that is. It's just a data quality issue that we're facing. Uh, you know, this is sample data from City of Alexandria that they were kind enough to lend to us. Um, so uh, I'm not sure exactly what vintage it is, uh, but it's certainly not the most recent data that they may have. And, you know, we can go on doing this. I'll do a few more um, just to get them right. And then you can uh, do the same thing. But what you're seeing here, the main thing I want you to take away from this, is that editing the 3D data is actually really quite easy. And, um, you know, you just uh, can click and drag uh, any 3D element to size it appropriately. And very quickly you start to get quite a realistic cityscape. Um, with not an uh, enormous amount of effort. <laughs> 